Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to learn about a smoothing technique called good Turing discounting. This is a continuation of our last video where we studied about probability calculation in case of n grams. Mainly we use bigrams there and saw why smoothing techniques were used. We also saw how can we calculate our probability using Laplace smoothing or add one smoothing. In this video, we're going to see what good Turing discounting is and how we can implement good Turing discounting. What good Turing discounting does is it re-estimates the amount of probability mass to assign n gram with zero or less counts by looking at the n gram or the number of n grams with higher count. Here we use the count of things which are seen once to help estimate the count of things we have never seen. We'll be using some notation here. So first of all, let NC be number of n grams that occur c times. What we do here is uh, if the count of n gram is zero or the count of n gram is lower, we adjust such count uh, using our revised count. So the revised count formula is revised count c asterisk equals to original count c plus 1 nc plus 1 divided by nc where nc is the number of anagram that occur c times okay we'll try to understand this with an example here we'll consider bigrams for our, our example here so suppose we have this following corpus set and their respective counts in terms of bigrams here. Okay, so in our corpus, let's say we have x and then count here as well as nc. So the first value that we have is cc which occurs 10 times, a dot which occurs 4 times dot a which occurs four times a a which occurs five times a b which occurs three times b a which again occurs three times b b which occurs two times b dot which occurs one time dot b which also occurs one times dot dot which occurs one time c dot and dot c which both occurs one time and finally we have a c b c c a and c b they all occur zero times here our concern is to adjust the count of the table of seen and unseen values and compute the probability here and compute probability using good curing discounting technique. Okay, so We'll add some more columns here. The first one is NC plus one. The second one is C asterisk. And then finally, we'll calculate our probability using good Turing discounting approach. So what is NC here? NC basically refers to number of anagram that occurs C times, which means in this first row, this NC is N10. Uh, which basically occurs only one time. N4 occurs two times here. N5 also occurs one time. N3 occurs two times. N2 occurs one time. N1 occurs one, two, three, four, five times. Five, 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 and five. And N0 occurs four times. Four, 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 and four. Okay. Now we go to NC plus one. So NC plus one is basically uh, for the first column, it's N10 plus one, which is N11. 
since we don't have n11 here we can basically write 0 here now n4 plus 1 is n5 so 5 so the count 5 occurs 1 times here which means n5 is 1 here also it's 1 we don't have 5 plus 1 n6 here so it's 0 n3 plus 1 means n4 which occurs 2 times n2 plus 1 means n3 which also occurs 2 times n1 plus 1 means n2 which occurs 1 time and n0 plus 1 is n1 which occurs 5 times so we've completed our nc plus 1 also now we calculate our readjusted count here i'll do it for some few rows and then you can continue it on your own so for the first row this is going to be c plus 1 which means 10 plus 1 into nc plus 1 is 0 divided by nc it's 1 which means 0 so here it's going to be 0 again for the second row this will be uh, 4 plus 1 into nc plus 1 which is 1 divided by nc which is 2 so basically this is 5 divided by 2 it's going to be 2.5 Again, the same here, 2.5. Here, it's going to be uh, 5 plus 1 into 0 divided by 1. So, this will be 0. Now, for this one, it is going to be 3 plus 1 into 2 divided by 2, which means 3 plus 1, 4. 4 to the 8 divided by 2 is 4. So, this will be 4, 4. Now here uh, it will be which will be 6. Now here 1 plus 1 2 into 1 divided by 5 uh, which will be uh, 5 by 2 0 0.4 0 0.4 0 0.4 0 0.4 and 0 0.4. Uh, now for the last four rows this is going to be 0 plus 0 plus 1 into 5 divided by 4 which means 5 into 1 by 4 it's going to be uh, 1.25 1 1.25 1.25 and 1.25 now finally we calculate our uh, readjusted probability using good Turing discounting uh, we have a formula for this so this the formula for this is our adjusted count divided by the total C that we have in our corpus so for that total C we need to sum some of the values of the C column here. This is uh, 36. If you sum this out, you'll get 36 here. So now, uh, accordingly, you can calculate our PGT here. So for the first row, this is going to be 0 divided by 36, which is basically 0. Now here, it's going to be 2.5 divided by 36. It's going to be somewhere around 0 0.07. 2.5, again, it's going to be 0 0.07. Now, uh, again, this will be 0. Now 4 divided by 36 which means 1 by 9 this will be somewhere around 0 0.11 0 0.11 6 by 36 is going to be 0 0.17 uh, Now 0 0.4 by 36 is going to be somewhere around 0 0.01 0 0.01 0 0.01 0 0.01 0 0.01 0 0.01 and 1.25 divided by 36 is going to be somewhere around 0 0.03, 0 0.03, 0 0.03, and 0 0.03. So, as you can see, we've adjusted our count from the original count, the the values in the original count and, and the adjusted count are somewhat different, you can see. And based on that adjusted count, we've also calculated the new uh, probability of a particular Bigram here and we have these uh, values for that one which is the readjusted probability using good Turing calculations okay thank you for watching this video if you have any problems or, or like if you don't understand anything please comment down below so that I can help you out I'll bring some new content in the upcoming video so I'll see you in the next video thank you